हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अकाश एच डी एंड वेलकम टू द एच डी फिजिक्स क्लासेस होप सो यू आर डूइंग वेरी ग्रेट सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कैपेसिटर हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न आर लॉट ऑफ बेसिक्स लाइक वी शुड नो वेरी वेल द कैपेसिटर्स इन सीरीज एंड पैरल इन केस ऑफ डायलेक्ट्रिक एंड वी शुड नो वेरी वेल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ऑल्सो ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दी वीडियो सो स्टूडेंट्स हेयर द क्वेश्चन इज सी जे टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन इज देयर A parallel plate capacitor is made of two square plates of side A separated by a distance d. Okay, the lower triangular portion, which portion? Triangular portion is filled with a dielectric of dielectric constant k, as shown in figure. We can see also the capacitance of this capacitor is how much. So, students, we know very well how to solve the question of capacitor. when the dielectric is filled in case of a rectangular shape a square shape but here what is there it is the triangular shape so here students we have to do the integration but before doing the integration i will tell you some basics then we'll come to this question here okay so students see here here i have taken the two plates are there capacitor let's take here this is the ends of the capacitor and here for example we have put the dielectric like this here no this is the this is the dielectric is no dielectric of dielectric constant k and let's take for example here a is there so what you think students here here capacitors are connected in series or parallel tell me so here students this remember that here in this situation if i will draw here the capacitor is connected in series this is for air ca and this is for dielectric cd okay so here what will happen that students can you tell me what is the formula here let's take here this is a This is B here again. This is A. This is B. So when the capacitors are connected in series, what is the formula? We know the formula very well. See here, one by C equivalent is equal to one by C A for air and one by C D for dielectric here. This situation here, this is the series situation. We should know very well. Now after understanding this uh, which one series one. Here, what I am going to do here? Here, I am going to fill the dielectric in this way. Let's take for example, this is the, this is the dielectric is there. Okay, and let's take this other terminal side there. This is A, and let's take this is the terminal B. Then, what you think that here? Here, the capacitors are in series or parallel? Let me draw here the equivalent diagram here. No equivalent diagram here. See, this is A, and it will like this. Okay, this is the dielectric, C D, and this side, this is A R C A, and here terminal. B is there. Okay, so by seeing the diagram, what we can tell here, here the capacitors are in parallel. So parallel capacitors, what is the formula? We can write here C D plus C A. Okay, so here series and here what is there? Parallel. Can you see it very well? Okay, because this basic we have to use it. Now here, if we see the situation here, which kind of dielectric is there? Triangular dielectric is there. Okay, so here we have to do the method of integration, and for that. first we have to make the formula by taking very small thickness okay so just let me do here the students here i have taken this region here okay and let's take here this thickness this thickness i am talking about here okay this thickness how much here this thickness is dx and at a distance of how much here? at a distance of x okay now after that let's take here this height now this height This height how much? This height is y. Okay. So now let's take here. This is I have taken angle theta here, na? Just to see the triangular similarity here. Okay. Students, so first we are going to do the triangular similarity because that thing we need in a question. So can you see one triangle here? You can see one triangle is this one, na? First triangle, and that one is this one here. So if I see here tan theta. So what is the tan theta? If you see this triangle, this triangle, what we can write here? Thickness is very very small. We can write here y by x. And in this bigger triangle, what is tan theta? Tan theta is given by d by a. D by a. Okay. That means we can write here y equal to d by a into x. Hence, if I write dy by dx, so dy by dx will come what here? It will come d by a. We have to remember this. Now this thing is step. Now after doing this step one, we have to move to the second step. In second step, what we are going to do? We are going to find out the capacitance, capacitance of this. 
So you can see very well by seeing the previous situation C. Here dielectric is there. If I take here, here, this situation, here, here also if I make here one capacitor, now here also. But here what is present here? Air. So can you tell me this dielectric capacitor and this air capacitor is connected in series or parallel? Just go to the back side. See here. Connected in series or parallel? Yes, definitely in series. That means we have to use this formula. Okay, that means this dielectric capacitor and this one is connected in a series. Okay, so we are going to do for this one. Now we are going to find out this one. And let's take this one is a very small thickness. Now that means dielectric, uh, what we tell, capacitance will be also very, very small, equivalent. So what we can write here, see? 1 by DC. Parallel plate capacitor formula, let me write here. Normal formula is used to be K epsilon not a A by D. I think so. You know this formula very well. What is A? A is the area of the plate. Okay. So here what we can write here. First one, 1 by C1. That means K epsilon not area. Area will be how much here? See here this. If I just draw here a little bit. Uh, which kind of plate is there? A square plate is there. In the question what is given? A square plate is there. See here. A square plate. Okay. And here I have taken the this one here. You can see in three dimension like this will happen that here and here only what is there this thickness is dx this thickness is dx and can you guess very well this length is a so here if we see that if this is a two dimension but if in a three dimension we see this is a thickness dx like here dx is there now here dx and inside a is there that i have represented here so can you tell to me what is the area of this area of this strip the area of this strip will be A into dx. I hope so, you have understood very well. So here, K epsilon not A. A how much here? Area, that means A into dx by D. What is the D? D is the distance between the plates here. So distance between the plates, how much here? This Y, Y. So we'll write here this Y here. Plus, plus, because series na, this and this in series. Now for the air, what will happen that here? For the air, epsilon not, Area, area is given here, area is given here again, A into dx. And can you tell me this length how much? This is y, this is d, that means this length. This length how much? Can you guess and tell me this is d minus y. Okay, so in this way we'll get the capacitance of this dielectric and air in series. Now, can you see it very well? Because after that we have to simplify this here. Okay, so now after that let's uh, go to the next one and uh, we have to write this here. Now, so we know very well as 1 by C equal to, again I'm writing here, K epsilon naught A dx and here Y plus again air means epsilon naught A dx Y D minus Y. Okay. Now after that what we have to do here? Hmm. So see, this now 1 by DC is small capacitance. Now 1 by DC. What are the things are? Uh, common here you can see epsilon not a dx. Here also epsilon not a dx. So I am writing here see epsilon not a into dx I have taken outside. So what is coming here see 1 y by k plus here what will come here? Here it will come d minus y. Okay let's further simplify this. So 1 by dc is equal to 1 by epsilon not a dx into again see at this d plus y by k minus y that means if i take y common that means it will become here how much here? 1 by k minus 1 okay now let's reverse here so hence dc will come what here uh, dc will become here let's see here epsilon naught a dx by this will go in a reverse that means d plus y 1 by k minus 1 okay now what will happen that uh, if you see this diagram what will happen this y value at this point, y value is 0 and y values keep on increasing and here it will become d. That means this dx we have to write in terms of dy so that we can put the limit. So if you see from here, the students, if you see from here, uh, what will be the dx? If you see from here, dx will be how much? a by d into dy. Now, can you check out again dx how much here? a by d into dy. Just let me put here, this dx value I'm going to put here, see, epsilon not a. And your dx value how much? Again, I'm telling here a by d into dy here. Okay. And anyhow, here it is there. See, d plus uh, y and here 1 by k minus 1. This is there. Again, let's simplify this. Again, let's simplify this. What will become here? See, students, epsilon naught a square. See, epsilon naught a into a. a square. Epsilon naught a square. 
by d and here into dy by again uh, this will write here d plus y 1 by k minus 1. Now, now this one we have simplified this. Now this is only for what? This is only for this much. This is only for this much. This dielectric and this air. But you know very well if we start counting from here initial point this is final point. Then can you see how many small small strips are there for the uh, capacitor here you can see one then next then next then next so many is there and all of them is connected in parallel now all of them is connected in parallel now you can see it it will go like this here okay it will go like this here again i'm telling you see here like this is there now so here you can see here if i draw here see see here please here some small small dielectrics will form like this now capacitor made up of dielectric and here what will happen that here air air will form like this here air will form so can you see very well this all of them is connected in all of them is connected in parallel and for parallel what is the formula we have to just simply add it that means just like a integration okay so now next one we are just going to do here no? this one we have to remember that and we have to do what we have to do the integration of this okay please remember this here epsilon not a square by d so here what will become here see as again as what we know dc equal to epsilon naught a square by d no? just let me check and here dy by d plus y dy by d plus y 1 by k minus y and what we have to do we have to get the total capacity that means here we have to do the integration and here also what will be there integration anyhow this thing is constant it will come outside okay so integration so here what will happen that here this is c integration over dc means uh, c and here epsilon naught a square by d now how to solve this here we should know somewhat mathematics integration so what i'm going to do here is to here see here as i have taken c d plus y 1 by k minus 1 i have taken this as a t okay i'm just using the integration actually little bit means integration we have to do here so here what will happen that here both the sides we are just going to do the differentiation okay so what will happen that here when we'll do the differentiation here let's take a, for example we are doing the differentiation as it will become here see 0 plus dy 1 by k minus 1 is equal to dt i hope so little bit mass we can use here no? 0 plus dy 1 by k minus 1 dt or you can do dy by dt also both the sides d by dt d by dt you will get this no problem here okay so from here we can tell what is dy dy is given by dt by 1 by k minus 1 okay this one we are going to use here that means what this will become here see this c equal to students huh, here here this one here see integration so dy is going to become how much here this one dt by k minus 1 no? dt by k minus 1 and this one this one what i have put here this one i have taken t that means c this is t okay now let's again simplify this epsilon not a square uh, by here see k minus 1 into d correct huh? and this will become integration dt by t integration dt by t will become what here ln t what is coming ln t okay ln t is forming here and here we have to put the limits here okay limits in terms of t also we can put no problem but okay we'll simplify this more epsilon not a square c here k minus 1 into d and c is to c ln what is the value of t put the value of t here this is the value of t d plus y uh, 1 by k minus 1 and here you can put a uh, huh, bracket is there like this this bracket is there Huh. like this is back at this there and we have to put the limits limits where to where if you will see that limits where to where at this point when starting from here at this point value of y how much zero and at this point value of y will become how much d okay that means here the limits will be what here y equal to zero to d okay so again let's see here epsilon not a square by k minus one into d okay so first we'll put the limits now here limits we have to put upper limit minus lower limit is there okay so see upper limit upper limit means what we have to put we have to put here y equal to d so see here the moment you will put y equal to d here so what this will come here d plus d 1 by k minus 1 so d and d will 
cancel out. What will left here? It will left with the d by k. Just check out. I have just put a y equal to d. What I have put? A? I have put upper limit y equal to d. Okay. This one we have got it. Minus. Then I have to put a what? A? Lower limit y equal to 0. So the moment uh, you will put y equal to 0, what this will become here? y equal to 0. This term will become 0. That means what will be left here? It will left here minus ln d. Okay. And you know the formula very well. ln m minus ln n is equal to ln m by n. Okay. So what this will become here? It will become here c equal to and c equal to epsilon not a square by k minus 1 into d and here c. This ln and here what this will become here? Again I am writing c. This uh, d by k and here it will become here what? Uh, by d. Okay. So anyhow this d and d will cancel out. That means it will become here epsilon not a square by k minus 1 into d, okay, and it will become what? It will become here ln 1 by k, ln 1 by k, okay, and ln 1 by k means what? We can write minus ln k, minus ln k. So when this minus will adjust here, no? we are going correct now, mm, k by, uh, here we are going correct, just check out all these things, friends, I hope so, maximum to maximum all going correct only, okay. So when minus will adjust here, what this will come here, students here, epsilon not a square, no? epsilon not a square by, this will become 1 minus k into d and it will become here ln k, okay. We hope so, we have done all the mathematics correct, we'll just check it one time because anyhow, we have got the answer now, but we'll just check it one time here, no? here up to this, when we have used the geometry, it was correct only up to this, here we have done. Uh, y by this thing and this thing here we have done it now here just check it here y by this thing d minus y is this one here we have taken what common epsilon not a dx we have taken outside then it has become y by k plus d minus y now we are just doing one time more so that we can reach to the final confirmation and here it is becoming here what here d plus y and it has become 1 by k minus 1 no problem then we have just reverse it epsilon not a dx d plus y 1 by k minus 1 then we put the value of dx. What was the value of dx? a by d. Then we have done epsilon not a square by d, dy plus d plus y, 1 by k minus 1. Okay, correct. So after that, what happened at here? We have reached there. Then what we have done is twins, this d plus y, 1 by k minus 1, we have taken t, is it? Then both the sides, I have done the differentiation with respect to t. Even you can do d by dt also both the sides. So dy, 1 by k minus 1 and here dt. So dy is how much here? dt by 1 by k minus 1 here. Now dt by 1 by k minus 1. Again I am telling you, see here, here. dt by, what was there? See here, dy equal to dt by 1 by k minus 1. That means here some mistake has happened, see. You see, 1 by k minus 1. Okay, here how much here? This only mistake happened, 1 by k minus 1. This is c, 1 by k minus 1. You can see very well. Here also what has happened? 1 by k minus 1. And uh, see here, here also, 1 by k minus 1, okay. And uh, just, uh, just uh, let me rough this. No? That's why in this way only we have to identify our mistakes sometimes here, okay. So what this will become? 1 by k minus 1. That means what this will become here, see? k epsilon naught a square, no? And here what is coming here? 1 minus k into d. And here what is there? ln. 1 by k, okay? And what will happen to your students? If in case this ln 1 by k, you are making, this k you are taking up, that means it become minus ln k, and this minus I will adjust here. That means what final answer will come here, see here very well? k epsilon naught a square by k minus 1 into d, and here ln k. And the students, this is our perfect answer, and we have just reached to the final answer. I hope so you have understood this question very well. Little bit basics are involved, video got somewhat long, but I hope so. In this question, we have discussed a lot of things about the application of capacitor and the basics of capacitor. Thank you.